How's everybody doing and welcome back to yet another video on the Audible YouTube channel. Today, finally, we have a really beautiful day. It's supposed to go up to a massive 48 degrees today and it's sunny. A little windy, but it's at least it's sunny. So today, we're gonna finally clean her. We're gonna focus on the wheels today though and as you guys might be able to tell, I just put on the new titanium lug bolts. Now many of you might remember that I already had some titanium lug bolts with my logo in them for my previous wheel setup, but they were ball seed uh, lug bolts. What I needed this time around was conical seed lug bolts. So we just got new ones here with the AV logo in there. It looks absolutely awesome. I love it. Now we're going to get back to the lug bolts here in just a second, but for now we got to flip the car around. And there we have it. As you guys know, not very long ago, I got my new wheels, the Velos S15s from my good friends, Velos Design Works, who by the way, are the ones who got the uh, titanium lug bolts for me as well with my logo on there. But these wheels or any wheel for that matter on an AMG product get extremely dirty just from brake dust. If you know anything about Mercedes in general, and specifically AMG, is that they have excellent brakes. I mean, they're just, they're top notch, but a lot, a lot, and a lot of brake dust. So it's always a constant battle when you're driving this car. It's a lot of pros and cons. Also because it is black. My wheels are now black as well. They look more like bronze grayish. I always have to deal with this. <laughs> so in today's video, what we're actually gonna do is focus in on the wheels and what I do to get them sparkling clean again and even the barrel because that can be uh, kind of hard uh, to keep clean especially all the way in there so uh, today's video I'm actually using a new product and it is called the woolly wormit now there's tons of uh, car wash products out there on the market there's tons of products that you use specifically for your wheels but when it came to this the woolly wormit and I kind of read up on uh, what makes it unique I said yes to this. So what they did was they sent me this a few months back, although it's been nonstop winter here with a 60 degree day every now and then. Um, so I've tried it out twice and I really, really like it. I think you guys will like it as well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what's great about it. So it actually comes in this cool little package here. So we're going to unbox it. And here it is. So this thing is uh, 13 inches long. And as you might be able to tell, there's no real handle on this thing. And that's actually a good thing that we'll uh, get to here shortly. But what you put at the end of the woolly wormit is one of these. And I'll show you why. As soon as you put this on, you open this little bag here. And then what you do is you put this little sponge on here. There's little holes right there. And this is actually a lug nut cleaner. Pretty cool. I've never seen this before on any other uh, wheel cleaning product. And I'm going to demonstrate exactly how you do this and uh, how usable this thing is. But first, as we always do, is uh, we're going to take the pressure washer and get most of the surface grime off of the wheels. All right, so now we're going to get to cleaning. But before we actually uh, do that, I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove this and actually clean it. So this is washable. So uh, I mean, obviously when you're cleaning wheels, your sponge, whatever it is you're using, in our case here, the woolly wormit, gets extremely dirty. So uh, you can take it off and wash it and reuse it. And then this microfiber actual woolly wormit comes in several different colors for those of you who uh, like that. So here you can kind of see the construction of the actual uh, working piece here. It's very rigid and it's bendable. And I'll show you why this is good as uh, we start cleaning here. So what I thought we'd start by doing is actually doing the, uh, the lug bolts. So all you do is you stick this in here, just turn it around, and uh, you actually keep your lug nuts or lug bolts clean. There's a pretty unique feature actually that, like I said, I haven't seen before. Look at that. I mean, that is awesome. And then we just start with the spokes. And as you can see here, it gets in between the actual uh, brake caliper and the wheel barrel, which is pretty nice. 
All right, so now for the next step. I mean, these are 10 and a half inch wide wheels. So it's nice to have 13 strong inches <laughs> to work with so we can clean the full inside of the barrel here. Because that's usually a pretty hard spot to reach on a car. All right, so now that we have the barrel, here's the next step. And the next thing that is pretty cool with this is that you can bend the woolly wormit and then you get behind the spokes as well. Look at that. All right, so now we have the whole wheel cleaned. The lug bolts or lug nuts, whatever it is you have on your car. The inner barrel of the wheel, the spokes of course, and behind the spokes, all done with one product. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, do the rest of the wheels. Then we're gonna spray them off and look at the finished product. So we've got all the uh, wheels foamed up with the uh, wormit. But before we spray them off and look at the finished product, I wanted to mention that if you keep a dry one of these, it's actually really good for cleaning the interior of your vehicle as well, as I'll show you here on my truck. Since this is indeed microfiber, you can wipe the interior of the car, dashboard, or what have you, wherever you want. It's also nice for using these hard reach areas. I mean, I'm six foot two and I have a hard time reaching the uh, roof of my truck. So yeah, it's, it's multitasking with this thing, not just cleaning wheels. There will be a link in the description of this video if you're interested in picking one of these things up. I, I recommend it. I mean, I don't make videos like this unless I actually use the product. I think it's absolutely excellent. So definitely pick one up if you're wanting to. Use the link in the description below. But now, we're gonna wash off the wheels, look at the finished product of the wheels, and then I'm just gonna finish this video off with washing the rest of the car. Yep, man, look at that. All the way through the barrel as well. The brake caliper is clean. Lug bolts or lug nuts are clean as well. Check behind. Yep. Yeah, it's clean. It is clean. So now all I have to do is dry this up, when I'm finished washing the car that is, to the addition of the mandatory tire shine as well, and it's gonna look absolutely perfect. finally have a finished product clean as a whistle I'm gonna stick my hand in here so we got some surface rust from the rotors from me moving the car around that of course fell down and made the barrel slightly dirty again but the moral of the story is that this thing is pretty freaking cool if you are interested click the link in the description and pick one of these up so with that being said I'm gonna pull the car back in the garage Switch places with the hoopty here because it is about to start raining and uh, she's finally, finally super duper clean once again. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, 
I almost forgot, we currently have a giveaway on the channel. Yesterday I purchased a 2011 Mercedes C300 that will be going to one of you guys in about two months. Details on the giveaway will be released very, very soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're interested in being part of the Mercedes C300 giveaway. But with that being said, this video is over. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by it for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon.